Well, you know what my saying is, there's nothing better. The only thing better than doing a video, spending 40 minutes on it, is watching it crash and losing it and having to sit there and do it all over again. Good times, man. Good times. World's population to reach 11 billion by 2100. So this new analysis reveals that the world's population will surge nearly 11 billion by the end of the century. So it goes on here, says that uh, fertility in Africa plays a major role in the projected rise. While the experts had earlier expected the area's birth rates to decline more quickly than they have, so fertility decline in Africa has slowed down or stalled to a larger extent than we previously predicted. Says also that um, women's lack of power because they're victims in dealing with men and traditions such as early marriage and polygamy have also slowed change in Africa. That's right. They want you to go around there and uh, screw every single person on the face of the earth, uh, total strangers until you're about 50 when you can barely have kids and then go to the doctors and the experts to have one. Basically pursue a career, uh, just pursue a career and education and all that uh, before you uh, try getting children. So, uh, but what's interesting uh, is said here that in other areas of the world, uh, fewer major population changes are expected. They may see mod modest increases due to longer life expectancies. They also estimated that Europe might have a slight dip in population due to a below replacement uh, birth rate as more people are dying than born at, uh, at the area. So, you know, Asians for Asians, uh, Africans for Africans, and everybody else for Europe and North America. That's the way it goes. And so, you know, of course, eugenics is aimed at them. So this is good news as far as the Africans resisting this. Uh, next up, we have Americans throw away 90 billion pounds of food a year. Average American uh, uh, four weights between 1,300 to almost three grand a year in food. So um, this is good propaganda. Uh, 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 basically, uh, don't worry about corporations that uh, they are the biggest waste. Um, people that care, you know, uh, basically produce waste uh, and poison water supplies and stuff like that. But it's not the corporation's fault. It's the individual Americans' fault who have really not much power at all as far as society and their life goes. They're just born into a system. They're told what to do. And, uh, uh, you know, it's interesting, too, because they go down here and they throw in this quote by the Pope talking about a culture of waste. Well, it's interesting because, you know, as slaves and being born into this system of, of, of enslavement and total domination of every facet of our life, um, we've been taught in the past, what, 50 years uh, to be nothing but consumers, to be materialistic parasites and, um, and, and, and feed these corporations and make them bigger and bigger and bigger. So um, I just find it kind of funny that they blame the individuals uh, for this culture of waste when you have these corporations that used to make good quality products that produce a bunch of synthetic shit uh, that's made to throw away. You know, you get, in a, you get, a, you get a dent in your car, oh, just throw it away, get a new car. You know? And the usury system really enjoys that as well. Uh, but now that they don't need people to buy shit products anymore to fund their global government and their, um, their push to uh, singularity and that, and, and basically call off the rest of the useless eaters um, now that they don't need us anymore uh, it, it, you know basically we're not re we're, we're not really consumers anymore as much right and they're still going to push that but uh, we're in a post consumer world so be glad to have nothing bloomberg's latest mandatory food composting so says here that uh, in, in, at first it'll be voluntary but residents will be likely required to comply within a few years so it says it's going to be transformative so don't know why they're pushing all this stuff, but either way, how China will move 250 million slaves from the country in rural areas to the city in 12 years. Will mass urbanization create growth or just destroy rural life? So, in the 80s, 20% of people in China lived in the city. Today, it's 53%. By 2025, the country's leaders want 70% of the population to be city dwellers. So, they want to move them out of the rural areas where they'd be freer and healthier away from each other and smash them up like sardines so they can be nice and sick, carry out their eugenics, and they're easily able to be controlled and surveilled. Theoretically, more urbanites mean more consumers and taxpayers and thus greater growth, but they say it's going to be a risky one. Uh, it goes on here and it says that uh, there's this feeling that we have to modernize, we have to urbanize, and this is our national development strategy, says rural development expert. It's almost like another great leap forward, so that should work out well, like the last ones. L.A. bus drivers, pesticides are making us sick. So I uh, just want to throw it in there, uh, just like 
uh, you know, the movie Dread, uh, with these big sky rises of people in their little cities. I mean, this is what it is. Um, and people are going to be smashing these cities. Uh, rural areas will be for growing organic food for the Politburo and the elites. Uh, this is on record. This is true. This is a fact. Uh, the Chinese, you know, they'll get fed their garbage-fed beef, uh, synthetic uh, plastic uh, rice, uh, genetically modified uh, crap crops, if they're lucky to get enough government credits and all the open land will be used for uh, nice organic food and of course they eventually um, they'll just be fed each other like soil and green LA bus drivers pesticides are making us sick so a petition calls for an end to spraying in buses so they say it's the last place you expect but it says uh, bus drivers are getting sick um, also it says here among their health allegations headaches nausea dizziness which sometimes strike when they're behind the wheel they say it's standard industry practice and very common so it's okay there haven't been any known health issues for passengers, but if the drivers are getting sick, this is enough indication that it's not safe. So, And uh, it's just like low dose of radiation. So that bus driver's sitting in there, and uh, he's there more than the actual passengers, so that's why he's probably getting sick. Study un uh, uncovers gross hand-washing stat. 19 out of 20 of U.S. are doing it wrong. So following a trip to the toilet, some 95% of people don't wash their hands properly meaning long enough actually to eliminate bacteria. So it says here the purpose of geoengineering and chemtrails is death. So it says through May of 2013, Southern California, a uh, home of 22 million people, received by far the most powerful daily aerosol attacks this writer has seen since the learning of the geoengineering issue in 2007. The sky remained whited out and mountains tens miles away are barely visible due to the toxic chemtrail fallout. So. Zygmunt Brzezinski said in earlier times it was easier to control a million people than physically to kill a million. Today is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. That was Zygmunt Brzezinski. So the likely result is democide, if not stopped completely, according to this professor in Hawaii. Democide is the murder of any person or people by a government, including genocide, politicide, and mass murder. Secondary purposes include geoengineering, including control of the uh, climate weather for warfare and profits in destroying the natural world while further the transhumanist synthetic biology agenda. The cell phone industry doesn't want you to know about radiation concerns. The leading expert on health effects from cell phone radiation goes to battle against a multi-trillion dollar industry. So she wrote a book called Disconnect on 2011. She goes on and she basically is trying to expose the dangers of, of uh, electromagnetic radiation. It says uh, out of 7 billion people on this planet, about 6 billion of us now use mobile phones. In conclusion, we do not detect any correlation between the mortality of malignant brain tumors and cell phone use in Taiwan. We thus urge international agencies to publish only confirming reports with more applicable conclusions in public. This will help spare the public from unnecessary worries. The Belgian parliament posed to approve child euthanasia law, so they are about to expand its controversial right to die policy to include uh, access to euthanasia for some gravely ill children. So it sounds really nice and everything, but um, uh, what happens when they create a legal loophole uh, to where they basically euthanize you, uh, basically against your against your will? So I see that happening in the future. Radical disaster. Quebec pushes ahead with bill to allow doctors to kill their patients called Medical Aid in Dying, a titled an act respecting end-of-life care would allow those with incurable serious uh, illnesses to be killed by doctors. So they slammed the move as paving the way to abuse. Years later, big problems for kids who kick cancer. So 45, it says by age 45, 95% have chronic conditions. So they say here that they are tied to either the cancer itself or the treatment they received for the cancer. But, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. It goes on here and it says that, for example, those who got chest, uh, got chest radiation often had scarred or leaky heart valves. Those who got brain radiation had mild cognitive deficits, much more typical of older people. So it's money and they, you know, they, they kill your brains, they kill your bodies. So... Okay, I guess it's good stuff for eugenesis. Antidepressants in U.S. waterways giving fish anxiety and homicidal behavior. So it says prescription drugs found in U.S. waterways, antidepressants routinely edge out all other med medications discarded or extruded by an increasing percentage of Americans struggling with anxiety disorder. It says the chemistry lining our waterways is having an adverse effect on fish behavior, plaguing them with anxiety, antisocial behavior, and homicidal tendencies. So pretty interesting. 
Uh, moving on here, chemical used by Monsanto found in urine of Europeans. A study residents of 18 European states have been tested positively to traces of glyph uh, uh, glyphosate, a globally used weed killer, the study says. It remains unclear how the chemical used on Monsanto GMO crops got into people's body. Well, it's in our food and water, right? Half a million new STD diagnoses in the last year in the UK. So the, the Public Health England has warned that the nation is experiencing a torrent of new cases of sexually transmitted infections with nearly half a million new cases reported in 2012. So, you know, talking about uh, the population is going to reach uh, almost twice as much uh, by 2100. I, I think they're trying to do everything they can to avoid that. It's called eugenics, pop depopulation. About lab rats, U.S. says chimps too endangered for research. Agency might give status to all chimps, both in captivity and in the wild. So they just moved to what? To the youth, right? CDC pushes flu vaccine. Oh, then don't forget the people in Africa, too, that experiment on them before they bring them to the, quote, developed worlds. CDC pushes flu vaccine for all children, a new fear-mongering campaign. The CDC is pushing parents to vaccinate their children between the ages of 6 months and 19 years against flu as the coming flu season is being touted as the worst year ever. Health officials urge vaccines as mump cases on the rise in England. So a sharp increase in confirmed cases raises concerns among health officials over uptake of measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. So you can go in there and take your, trust your government, take your vaccine, I guess. Pakistanis uh, demand electricity by refusing kids' polio vaccine. The villagers call for mosquito spray and ambulance services. So... I don't know how much truth there is in this article here, but uh, they won't accept polio vaccinations for their children until they get power. So they're either very brainwashed or very stupid. Um, they're willing to use their children as uh, uh, allowing the, them to come in and basically, well, use, uh, they're using their children as um, some kind of um, blackmailing or, or negotiation leverage. I, I don't know. They're going to allow them to carry out eugenics against their children in order to get electricity. So, unbelievable. Two more anti-polio vaccine uh, vaccinators killed in Pakistan. Gunmen killed two anti-polio workers. Uh, basically, they're vaccinators. Sunday in northwest Pakistan, the latest violence directed efforts to eradicate the disease from the country. So, it's because they, it's because they want polio. That's what they want. Terrorists win attacks close women's college. Pakistan militants attack a bus full of students, then the hospital they were taken to. The initial bus bombing was reportedly carried out by a female suicide bomber. You know, it's only in places like America and Europe where the people are a little more naive about things. New U.S. astronaut class is half female. So maybe this is so that the males can have prostitutes while they're up in space. I don't really know, but I know that's what they do, f why they do that for the military. It's, you know, they talk and they complain about the rape cases and what was the government's official policy. Well, there's not much we can really do. That's because they're put there to be raped by men in the field. So I'm sorry, but that's the truth. So you can talk about equal rights and stuff like that, but... So this is a sign of progress, apparently. Skyrocketing levels of fatherless, fatherlessness having devastated effects on children, says a UK report. Half of all children born in the UK are being raised by one parent, usually the mother. Uh, and that's, of course, that was traditionally done. Uh, they call it, some people call it the ISIS court, the horse of ISIS court, uh, which is to kill families. And they give them to the mother because usually mothers uh, make less income. It's not like that anymore, but the purpose was to basically destroy the family and make it so that the, the child had no chance of really uh, getting out of that social strata. Every year, an additional 20,000 people, mainly women, join the throngs of those raising children more or less single-handedly. says that a million children in Britain are growing up having no meaningful contact at all with their fathers is compounded by the dearth of male teachers in school. The effect of the absence of fathers, they say, has a devastating, uh, is devastating. It says children with separated single or step-parents are 50 percent more likely to fail at school, have low self-esteem, struggle to make friends and uh, with their behavior. They often battle with anxiety and depression throughout the rest of their lives. 92 percent of all the lone parent households with dependent children are headed by mothers. Indications of future instability are reflected in the continued increase in the number of people cohabitating. P parents who cohabit cohabitate are three times more likely to have separated by the time their child is age five than parents who are married. As we soppily mark Father's Day with cards, socks, and sentimentality and meals, 
out, uh, we should remember that in almost all cases, the absent parent is the father. The child is more likely to have a TV set in the bedroom than a father at home. Thank you.